What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. I'm back in my kitchen making cocktails. It's a hot Friday today. Listen, it's fall. A few things we can expect. Obviously, the changing of leaves. Uh, football and people cramming cinnamon and pumpkin up our assholes. Now, I'm not really big on jamming stuff up people's assholes, but I can't force a bunch of pumpkin down your throats. So today on $20 Chef, I'm going with apple cider margies, kid. We're going apple cider margaritas. We're keeping it real fall here, okay? Instead of a tequila with this margarita, I'm going mezcal. And you say, chef, well, what's the difference between mezcal and tequila? I'll tell you. So tequila, typically they steam the agave inside industrial ovens before they distill it two or three times in copper pots. Now mezcal, on the other hand, they cook it inside earthen pits lined with lava rocks and filled with wooden charcoal before being distilled in clay pots. And also the worm. <laughs> you see the worm in there, little buddy floating around. My buddy Zach brought me back this from Mexico. So today we're gonna go ahead and mix it up, make a little fall cocktail. It's very smoky, uh, it's very sweet. Also, you know, you can get the sweetness, almost like a vanilla in there. Uh, the smokiness, is, I think it's gonna go wonderful with the cider. Let's get cracking, all right? First things first, I got a little brown sugar. You can use raw sugar. I got some brown sugar here. Get these little rocks all get out of it. It's like kind of like when you're breaking up crappy weed, <laughs> but you ain't got nothing left because your dude hasn't shown up because of COVID. And then we're gonna throw a little cinnamon in there. Mmm. This is for the rim of our cocktail. I classed it up for you guys today. I hope you notice. Your boy got a nice little fresh ass haircut. Got a nice little class it up with a long sleeve button up. Come on, man. Get off my shit. All right, so let's go mix this all up. Kind of like we're panning for gold here. All right, cinnamon brown sugar rim. Time to make a cocktail. All right, in a separate little plate, throw a little triple sec down, or Cointreau or Grand Marnier, depending on how big time you're getting. Now we can get our, our glass night, and that's gonna get a nice stickiness to it. A cinnamon brown sugar rim. Look at that, ready to roll. Bust out your, this is where the bar tools come into play. All right, we got our ice in our shaker. Remember, get you some pour spouts, man, on Amazon. They're, they're lifesaver when you wanna actually pour a cocktail. You wanna act like you're really a bartender, get you some pour spouts. Triple sec, always gonna be a shorter count. If this is a restaurant, you're looking at a half ounce, you know, I'll give it to three count. Now we're coming in nice with the mezcal. Let's go ahead and give her a proper 10 count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, boom, apple cider. This is sparkling apple cider. I don't know if I, if I bought the right shit or not. Strong chance I should have just got regular apple cider. What are you gonna do? Boom. I can probably squeeze two out of this. Give her a nice little stir here. And this is where you can start joking with the guys at the party, you know? Ha! Huh. Hey, Jim, I heard you almost broke 200 on the course the other day. <laughs> Garnish time. Garnish, big deal here. Hey, all we do is get some nice little apple slices here. I'm actually gonna make apple sticks to go to so it'll match our cinnamon stick. All right, here we go. Place your ice in nice and soft. Don't be knocking off all of your hard work there off the edge. All right, magic time. Oh shit. Who's getting lit tonight? And a nice little garnish here. Boom, look at that. There it is. Maybe a little splash of cinnamon on top. And there you are. A little presentation, never hurt nobody. All these flavors really come together nice. The mezcal, so obviously the sweetness from the triple sec, you know, the, the cider. Uh, the cinnamon with the brown sugar is a wonderful touch. This is a scary cocktail. I can't even almost taste any of the alcohol, and that thing is loaded with alcohol. Mm. You're even snacking on apples when you drink this shit. I'll tell you who's gonna love this, a nice cougar. You know what I mean? Older honeys know what they want. That's what I love, dude. Listen, lady, younger ladies, you're awesome. You got a lot going for you. You're full of, you got a lot of spunk and a lot of pep, okay? But I need me a woman over 30. You know, like, listen, women under 30, when you start dating them, they give, they give you a point system, right? Every guy starts with 100 points. And when he messes up, he loses points. I know, some years back, I started dating this girl who's like 24, right? I go pick her up in my 2003 Jeep Liberty, the Freedom Wagon, and I know when she comes out of her apartment, she's disappointed. She leaves her apartment, she goes, bye guys. Like, I know in her brain, she was like, minus 10. She walks in, gets in the car, I'm like, hey, what's going on? You know, I, I got us a couple spots. I thought we maybe we can go to Applebee's or something. My homie works there. And she was like, we're going to a corporate chain, minus 15. I'm at 75, I haven't even drove off yet. That's why I need an older honey. I need a woman over 30, she knows better. She's been dealing with donkeys for quite some time. Experience teaches, okay? Older women will let you know, okay? That's why their point system is completely flip-flopped. Women over 30 don't give dudes 100 points out the gate. They've been let down too many times. You start at zero as a dude and you earn points. One, another girl I dated, she was 36. I go pick her up in my car, she comes out of her apartment, she goes, what? This guy has a car, that's plus 15. 
she, she came to the car, she went back, she looked at the tags. Tags up to date? You got insurance? Plus 20, kid. This, guy, this dude's got his shit together. Just saying, you know what? You gotta know what you like. I know what I like. I like this cocktail. It tastes delicious no matter how old you are, as long as you're over 21. That's this episode of $20 Chef. See you guys next time.